How about those special effects? That spaceship flew over? I thought I was getting a brush cut. That might be an improvement. So, what'd you think? I thought it was non-stop, mindless violence. Everything a movie should be. Well, I, for one, was quite drawn to the costumes. Costumes? Yeah, I found them. And the emotional landscape painted by the acting was delicious. Acting? They could have been robots. They were playing robots. What'd you think? Well, you know, Ray, I, I couldn't really hear. But it was a huge sound, Fraser. Well, exactly. My ears are somewhat more tuned to the silence of the northern forest. You're living in a city, Fraser. Come on, adjust. Well, I'll try. Look at Ed. Still at it. I bet you didn't see five minutes of the movie. There's something to be said for young love. Yeah, it sucks. I think it's beautiful. How would you know? From where you'll make it. Hmm. I agree. What? Well, that man, he seems to be taking an undue interest in that young couple. Well, he's probably a security guard. Takes him for shoplifters. They don't look like shoplifters, right? Well, he's a security guard, and so that's sort of like a cop. He's got instincts and, uh, you know, he thinks it's a cover and they're shoplifting. Well, you know, I'm a police officer, and I have instincts, and my instincts tell me that they're not in a store and there's nothing to steal. Ah, uh, good point. Taken. They're on their way out. Fraser, cars this way. <laughs> Fraser! I believe he's following his instincts. They're outside, let's go. See? The guy's gone the other way. Apparently they were unrelated. Let's go, it's cold out here. Great! You love her, but you don't know her last name. How does that work? Well, we met at the mall. When? Last week? Last week. Oh, so this is a long-term thing. Yeah, you think this is funny, man? No, but it would help if we knew something about her. OK, we met at the mall last week. We went out a couple of times, and she was just, oh, yo, from the first time I met her, man, I knew, I knew she was the one. You know what I mean? I knew she was special. It's like no one ever let me feel like that, never. Love at first sight. Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, that's it. Tristan and Isolde. Abbott and Costello. He's talking about love at first sight, which does happen, happen to me. That's a crock. Lust at first sight, maybe, but love, no, never happens. I'd have to agree with the lieutenant. What we refer to as love at first sight is actually just a combination of chemical reactions triggered by pheromonal stimulation. Say what? It's about how you smell. Oh, that is so cynical and and so wrong. I and mean, Fraser, what do you think? Well, there was a lot happening, and the boy was holding onto the bumper, which partially obscured the license plate. But I do know it was a white 1996 Cadillac four door sedan, and the first three letters of the plate were H A P. Okay, well, I'll just go check that out then. But I do think it happens. Do you have any proof of that, Constable? He was willing to lay down his life for her. Yeah, I know it sounds like really ridiculous, but she never really talked a lot about herself. Look, you don't know where she lives. You don't know who it, her parents are, where she works, or, yeah, okay, or if well, she goes to school. Yeah, but I know she was unhappy, man. You know, she just she never really liked her life much. Uh, unhappy? Is that all she ever talked about? No, we talked, all right, all the time. About? 
What about us? About the future? Well, the thing is, you really can't love someone until you know them. Sure you can. The hard thing is to love them after you know them. Okay, looks like I got three possible matches here, Frisch. Dentist in Bellwood, a plumber in Park Ridge, and the unfettered evangelical church of the Holy Bible. Holy Rollers. Well, actually, sir, the term Holy Rollers properly refers to the evangelical Pentecostals of the 19th century. Whatever, it's still just a lot of yelling and jumping around. Anything else to help us identify? She's pretty. Uh -huh. She got a great voice. Uh -huh. And she got a great southern accent. Uh -huh. <laughs> The car. Uh, uh, sir, sir, you need no. Uh... Razor, I've been behind a desk too long. This is exactly what I need. Field work against the blood pumping. Team car. Very possibly, Ray. These handprints may well have been made by Davy as he was dragged all over Hell's Half Acre. Exactly. Hey, back to the line. Ha! Uh, Beaton Baker, I, I think you should probably stay here. No, it's not discrimination. It's health regulations. Health regulations. It's a very interesting example of ecclesiastical architecture. Inspector, are you all right? I don't know. I feel kind of tingly. Tingly, sir. Flushed. My knees feel kind of weak. Oh, my God. She's alive! Beautiful. A special thank you to our guest. We always have a place here for another beautiful voice. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, lift your voices, lift your voices, and praise the Lord. So maybe we should come back later. Actually, I think the administrative office is right through there. Someone may know about the car. Put it there. Welcome. Welcome to the unfettered evangelical church. The Holy Bible. Thank you. Welcome. Church is making me nervous. It's an odd reaction. Well, I'm more of a human sacrifice game. Oh, yeah. Lift your voice. Let him hear you. Ray, 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 Ray. What? It's this way. Huh. We can move mountains. We can heal the sea. We can live miracles. You know, you know, there are people who think that miracles are nothing but old stories from the Bible. God bless you. Well, well thank him kindly. <laughs> well, we can always use more volunteers. My dad said never volunteer for nothing. Uh, Chicago PD. Miracles are proof of his love and charity. Oh, I, I am sorry. I thought you were here to help with the collection. Collection? Yeah, from our radio audience. They like to contribute to the ministry, so we have phone volunteers to help take those donations. Um, it makes them feel like they're actually here at the service. Miracles are ours for the asking. Uh, you want that white Cadillac out there? Well, the church owns a number of vehicles. We have reason to believe that a young woman may have been abducted by men who were driving that particular car. Well, this is a church. Uh, Constable, is it? Uh, yes, my name is Constable Benton Fraser, Royal Canadian Mount of Police. I feel... uh, I'm sorry. 
We don't go around abducting people. Oh, that's a, a commendable policy. Oh, she's a, she's a young girl about 5'3". Uh, she's really, really beautiful. She's got long blonde hair, and there's something about her. So it's you special. this girl. Oh, I love this girl. Okay, whatever. See, the point of the fact of the deal is we got to find out who's driving that car. Well, I don't imagine anybody was, Detective, because we're having a survey. Let him hear your voice! And go! Okay, do you have a record, a vehicle log, anything like that? No. Would you mind if we just had a look-see? Well, this is private property, Constable. But we don't have anything to hide. I'll be happy to show you. Hey, 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 there he is! Yes, ma'am. You know this man? Why, yes, he's one of our larger assistants. Assistant, you just kidnapped the girl off Maitland Street. Eloise. Yeah, Eloise, don't you heard me? Eloise. Eloise is my daughter. By the Lord, she can perform miracles. Here's your statement. Read it and sign it. Okay, so you had no idea she knew this guy that put her in the car? Yeah, I'm telling you, I never seen him before. She never mentioned. Uh uh. Okay. This is your permanent address, right? Yeah. Forget it. All right, let me get this straight. The guy. Why am I? Addy. His name's Addy. Okay, Addy. When Addy put you in the car, it was of your own free will. I wanted to stay with Davey, but it was time for the service. He came to get me. It's his job. He's not in any trouble, is he? Kind of like him, huh? I know it's wrong. No, it's, it's not wrong. I mean, you know, he seems like a nice looking guy, kind of sweet. It's wrong for me. I belong to God. What do you mean, like a nun or something? I've been blessed. I can heal the sick. Really? I mean, for real, not, you know, fake or magic or something? I can do it. Wow, that's great. No, no, it isn't. I mean, I know it's a gift and all, but to be perfectly honest, it's real hard. I don't have much of a life of my own, and I thought with Davy, I don't know why God gives me these feelings if they're so wrong. Well, couldn't you just, you know, heal people and have a boyfriend too? I have to be pure. Oh. Oh, wow, <laughs> that's, uh, that's really too bad. I, I should never have talked to him, gotten to know him, and this wouldn't be so hard. Have you, um, known very many guys? I've been raised up in a church all my life. He's the only one. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. She confirms his story. That's good. So, you can let us all go now, Lieutenant? Yeah. 
Take him outside and finish the uh, paperwork. You're lucky we don't sue you for false arrest. I saw him grab your daughter, Reverend, and he did not do it in a very friendly manner. Well, Eddie takes his responsibility very seriously. Perhaps a little too seriously. You might want to speak to him about that. Eloise is a headstrong young girl, so needs a firm hand. Kids in the washroom, let's go get a coffee. Can you believe this? I was just talking to the guy at the radio station that run the church service. Did you know that they get over a million listeners every week? The filtered church of the Holy Bible gets a million listeners? Unfettered. Unfettered, unfiltered, whatever. A million listeners, each one of those guys phones in for a buck, that's a million dollars a week. That's a scam. Not everyone is going to phone in, though. Hey, they're not going to be listening if they're not going to phone in. Not necessarily. You watch PBS? Yeah. They never get phone ins. Eddie's a known felon. Three assault convictions in Mississippi. A long time ago, detective. Eddie has been with us from the very beginning of our ministry. One of our first converts. Sometimes uh, lost sheep make the most fervent believers. And sometimes people who like to hit, they just like to hit. OK, let's say half of them phone in, right? Just for two bucks, that's still a million bucks. Hmm. If half each give, what, 10 bucks, that's yeah. five million dollars? That's not bad. See, religion is the way to go. Go? Yeah. Think about it. You and I are going to be cops forever, you know. Listen, we can make people feel good about themselves, cure a few hemorrhoids, make a few bucks. Everybody's going to be happy. What, are you trying to start a religion now? Yeah, it's like country music. How hard can it be? What if I happen to that comedy club idea we had? This is easier. Hmm. Here goes my man. Comedy. Religion. That kid should not have been within 100 miles of Eloise. Dave, who's doing nothing wrong? Your man had no right to assault him, Reverend. Seeing this is a family thing and a bit of a misunderstanding, we'll let it go for now. But uh, tell your man to keep his fist in his pocket next time. Yeah, we will do that. You tell that boy to stay away from Eloise. Oh, nice. Well, it's not uncommon for parents to be protective of their daughter, especially when she's a miracle meal ticket. Eloise? Hey, baby. Eloise, we can go now. Hey, hey! Eloise! No, no, Davey. You can't say anything. You have to stay away from me. Eloise, you know, you know I can't do that. Step off. Don't touch him! Stay away from me! He's a ticket. He's a ticket. If he comes near me again, I swear to God, I'll shoot him. You're pretty tough with kids and dogs. How about me? Come on. Kill him after me first. You keep him away from me and my daughter. Daddy? No, right now. You keep him away. You keep him away. I won't be responsible. Let it go, detective. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Freeze is here, all right? <sighs> you know, she is such a nice kid. I feel really sorry for her. Why? Well, she never goes out. She's never been to school. Her parents keep her locked up in that church all the time. What kind of life is that for a kid? I mean, really, what kind of parents would do that? You finished? Are you done? Look, I'm trying to help. Here's the deal of the thing. She's 17. Her parents don't want you hanging around, so you got to stay away from the girl. I can't, man! Look, I know what it's like to be in love and lose the girl. You think that your life is over, but it isn't. How would you know? Because it happened to me. Yeah, what'd you do? Well, this and that, and then I got... What? I got married. You, you didn't even lose no girl, man. Yeah, 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 but eventually I got divorced. So what, you get over it? Look, the point is, ah. look, you keep hanging around there, she's going to press charges. Look, I pulled your file. Drug possession, a break and entry, what? shop. I was a kid and I was 12 years old. Look, that doesn't matter. Mr. and Mrs. Reverend uh, file a complaint, you go down. Looks like they started in Georgia. And at the age of seven, she apparently cured a deaf woman. Yeah. And after that, the Reverend's Church thing really took off. Mm. Went from a traveling tent show to a huge radio ministry in five years. Now they're looking at TV. Well, isn't that very expensive? Yeah, but when you got thousands of people mailing you money every week. <laughs> you think she's for real, Fraze? Well, a number of people seem to believe she is. Doesn't matter. Let's go, Fraze. Well, where are we going, right? Follow the kid. Why? He didn't do anything. Preventative policing. He's going to go see the girl. We're going to stop him. Preventative policing? Can you do that? 
It might be a violation of his rights. What the hell with his rights? He's going to do something stupid. Nobody has the right to do something stupid. Well, except, well. He doesn't mean that, Francesca. Thank you kindly. Anytime, Fraser. Coming, is he? Well, it's after hours, Ray. Oh. Got a record. Uh, put out a picture in an APB. No, not much doubt. The murder weapon was. He came in the door, yeah. and I, I don't, I don't know what was on his mind. Maybe he was wanted to kill us. Then what? I just he can't had believe this it. Terrible look in his I mean, Eddie has been with us from the very beginning. He is as much a part of the ministry as any of us. You said there was a fight. Uh, yes. Uh, that boy was lurking in the doorway. And then Eddie grabbed him, and they came into the room fighting, and that boy stabbed him and ran. Eddie was a good man. Excuse me, what is that? A uh, newspaper clipping. Dead guy had it in his wallet. It's a funeral notice from Arkansas. Probably his parents or something. Thank you kindly. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, but uh, I believe he recognizes you from outside the theater. I don't think so. Uh, yes, I believe you were carrying a walkie-talkie. You were following Eloise. Yeah, I look out for her. I see, uh, along with this gentleman. Yeah, that's right. And are weapons necessary in your line of work? She's very important to the church, and uh, it's our job to protect hey, Louise, her. Go to your room. We're licensed and registered. Boy, I see. Uh, will you excuse me? And, um, Eddie, pull back. And, uh, boy, stab him in the back, cut and run. Excuse me? Now, hang on a sec. I gotta ask you a couple questions. What, what were you doing? Uh, nothing. It all happened so fast, I couldn't even move. Come in. Are you all right? David was always so gentle. So nice to me. He just couldn't kill anybody. He couldn't. But your parents saw it happen. I know. But... How can I be so wrong about him? About everything. It's difficult to know people, particularly if you lack experience. It's all my fault. No. You know, you can't be expected to predict the future. David will come back. I know that. He'll want to see me. He'll get into trouble. Billy and Sandy. And they're the men who look after you. They're okay. They're like Eddie. Former criminals. Lost sheep.
They kind of scare me. I couldn't stand it if David got hurt. I'll do what I can. Good day. Fraser, we can't just sit there and wait for the kid to show up. Well, she does have a point, Ray. He's powerfully drawn to her. Yeah, well, he's in love. I get that. Well, I assume that you don't want Davy to be hurt. I don't want anybody to get hurt, but he stuck a knife in somebody, and we got to catch him. Well, when you're hunting Ray, the best policy oftentimes is to wait for the game to come to you. Well, that's great, but this isn't a criminal drive through We got to go out and get him. Uh, anything about the family? Yeah, his parents are dead. His aunt and uncle haven't seen him in three months, and he lives on his own. All right, you got any idea where he might be? Nope, they didn't seem that close. How about where he worked? Works for a shipping company downtown. Everyone says he's a loner, stays to himself. His boss says he's a good employee, though. Never any trouble. Uh, Francesca, any known associates? Known associate. One Jimmy Lewis. They got busted together four years ago. OK, so we just got to find Lewis, uh, shake him down, and see what he knows. Yeah, well, it won't be hard to find him. He's been in Jolia for the last year. Hey, do you know anything about this? So how long before the game shows up? Hunting requires patience, Greg. Go, Thatcher, go. She does seem powerfully drawn to the music as though it touched something deep within her. Mm. Spirit will come down and bless us today. Pray that through His grace we will see a miracle done. Ellen has not walked in 10 years. Her doctors have done everything they can for her, but they have failed. Only a miracle can take her out of that wheelchair. Pray for a miracle. Pray for the bountiful mercy of the Lord God our Father. Through Eloise and touch this poor troubled woman. Get up, Ellen. Get up and walk. Oh, great. that we have seen today. I do believe. You believe. We all believe. We believe in miracles. We believe in the miracles that have Very uh, inspiring. And these are all of you. Mom and Daddy got more pictures of me than you can shake a stick at. No baby pictures. Uh, my mom made pictures of me when I was a week old. I hate that. When did you perform your first miracle? When I was five. I saw God. You saw God? He came to me in a fire. Must have been very exciting. And the miracle you performed today, the woman just didn't seem to walk very far. Yeah. And she was real excited. Maybe she can even walk a little. Probably doesn't usually. But what with all the fuss and wanting to be cured and all. So she may have been able to take a few steps. 
but it's a fake. Or maybe there was no way she could have gotten out of that chair. No way she could even move her legs. That was a real miracle. Is that what you believe? When I was five, I touched a blind woman and she regained her sight. That's true. I, I, they've always told me that. I've made deaf people hear. I've stopped cancers from growing. I've done that. But I don't know why it happens or when it's going to happen. And it sure doesn't happen once a day and twice on Sundays. So some of the miracles are not quite so miraculous. You know much about Babe Ruth? The chocolate bar? No, the baseball player. Ah. He only hit 59 home runs in a 162 game season. That's not even one home run every two games. You think I can do better than that? I think miracles are easier than home runs. Dad says we have to do it to keep the ministry going. To keep the cash flow going. To keep the faith alive. Money's a means to an end. Make my daughter's gift available to the world. Eloise, you go to your room? Yes, sir. Don't cast your doubts on her mind. You have no idea of the damage you could do. With respect, sir, I think the doubts are already there. Do you have any idea what a delicate thing her gift is? The gift of making money? If you choose not to believe, I can't help you. But we bring miracles to people who need them. The world needs that. Is that guy for real? Interesting to find out. Davey. Thank you kindly, Francesca. And uh, anything else you find out would be greatly appreciated. Now what with the hunting? I think perhaps a little tracking's in order, right? Track? This is a high-top cross trainer with a full-court press tread. Uh-huh. It's a kind of running shoe, the kind that Davey was wearing. Well, he was here last night. Well, true enough. But this track wasn't here when we went into the church. I would have noticed it. You would have noticed it? There's thousands of tracks here. That's a very distinctive tread. Can you tell what he had for breakfast? No, in order to do that, I'd have to pick through his stool. It's disgusting, preacher. I'm going. Maybe I can help him. He's a murderer, Eloise. He's innocent. I know it. You know nothing. Nothing about life, nothing about the world, nothing about that boy. Leave him be. If anything, he's lost shape. I know what about those. You can't hurt her now, Reverend Barrow, and she may be able to help. Then I'll go, too. No. You've done enough. Maybe it would be better if you gave her some time alone. 
I'll go along with her, Reverend. Would you, my dear? Make sure she comes to no harm. Franny finally got a hold of the aunt and uncle. They're not coming. But they wouldn't mind if uh, we were to call and let them know how he's doing. Uh, how is he doing? Doctor said he's going to come on and tell us. Well, you know, Ray, surgery does take time. I've been praying to God, but he won't answer me. You know, it has been said that God does answer prayers. He answers each and every one. That's just that oftentimes the answer is no. Well, he's never said no to me before. He always comes through in a fire. He can't let Davy die. And Davy's a strong boy. Eloise, you said that Davy was innocent. He didn't stay up at it yet. They were fighting for the knife. He dropped it and he ran. And you know this because... He told me. I see. No, you don't. You think he lied, but he didn't. He would never lie to me. Uh, Ray, there's a couple of things I should look into. I'll wait here and regulate his progress. Good. Will you stay here? <laughs> from the big miracle at age seven. That's odd. Eloise said the first miracle occurred when she was five. Well, who remembers what happened when they were five? I don't even remember what happened when I was 17. Well, except for one thing. But anyway. Well, it was a miracle, Francesca. Yes, it was. Oh, well, OK, but hers couldn't be much of a miracle because they didn't even report it, and they report everything down south, miracles being top of the list and fires being the number two attraction. This is the obituary the dead guy was carrying. The young couple died in a house fire. A fire occurred when Eloise was five. Hmm. What is it, French? Just looking for a miracle, Francesca. A miracle occurred in McKinley, Arkansas, 1984. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I think you do. A five-year-old girl cured a blind woman. I don't have to listen to you. You know, your story and your husband's differed slightly over Addie's death. And at first I put that down to confusion arising from shock, but I think you and I both know it was something else. Detective Vecchio. Uh, how's he doing? He survived the surgery. Frankly, that was a miracle, considering all the blood he lost. So he's gonna be okay? Well, it's a little too early to say. Can I see him? Are you a relative? Yeah, she is uh, his sister. Adopted uh, sister. All right, we'll have him in a room shortly. Thank you. You gonna be okay? Yes. Can he stay? Yeah, but you're going to have to sneak him into the room because I don't think he'll pass as a relative. <laughs> Vecchio. I assume I have the basic parameters correct? Uh, yes, Ray, Mrs. Barrow is prepared to make a full statement. Right. They weren't just ignorant trash. They would have squandered that beautiful jewel that they were given by God. I see. Elliot. Elliot. I'm in the quarters. Get everybody over here quick. Perhaps we should go. Oh, dear. I imagine you've thought this through clearly. <laughs> yeah, I believe I have. Sandy, it's too late for this. Shut up. You know, sir, at the moment, it doesn't appear that you're involved in any serious criminal activity. Perhaps it would be wiser to keep it that way. Well, it seems to me that Addie was on a pretty serious gravy train. Now it looks like I can get me a piece of that. By eliminating me. That's good thinking. I see. Well, he has thought it through clearly. 
simple story. Uh, well, not so simple story, actually. It's a story about sin. Sin is good. My son. The sin of greed. If there are any among you out there who believe that the sin of greed is something overlooked by the heavens above, then you are, you are wrong. For they see everything and overlook nothing. And this story is one that Brother Albert knows well. It's a story of Eloise, a young girl who's performed miracles right here in this hall of God. No, Brother Albert, please stay with me. You can help me tell this story. As you know, there was once an itinerant preacher out of Arkansas, a man who was small in faith, but great in his greed, so great in his greed that he stole from his God. One day, he met a five-year-old girl named Marcy Davenport who could make the blind to see. And this man realized he could exploit her gift, that he could profit from it, so he did the unthinkable. He stole her. He stole the miracle girl, and he set a fire that killed both of her parents. That is a patent untrue. That man is lying. Disgusting lies, stuck in a red crimson bed. It's a tunic, actually. There was a witness to his dark deed, a blackmailer who bled the man dry in as the young girl made him rich. And then one day he saw his chance. The blackmailer was struggling with an innocent young boy. And so this false man of God rose up and slew the blackmailer. Now we all know who this man is. We all know what he has done. The law can only punish him for his crimes, but a higher power will punish him for his sins. There's nowhere to hide, Reverend. You've been miraculous recovery really you mean like a real miracle you're not just saying that like somebody'd say like a the immaculate uh, reception like that you know, what i mean is i'm his doctor and i don't know why he's still alive and and that's pretty strange well, i don't know about that i'm not sure why most of my patients survive medical humor ah uh, huh. Guys, they seem to have quite an unusual brother and sister relationship. Perhaps you could uh, try and get them some help. Yes, Doctor. Yeah, yeah, we will. Thank you, Carmen. Mm -hmm. So is she for real with this uh, miracle thing? She believes she is. The events in the past, it's hard to say. 
What about him? Is she safe? Possibly. He might have recovered anyway, but... But she did give him a reason to live, and that's important. Young love. Cute, but it won't last. No, it might. Never. It's possible. No. Occasionally. Not on my planet. Deep believes it will. I will snow and sky will carry.